Hello, I'm Barry Gross, the pen turning teacher. And today I want to discuss how to make your own custom pen with label casting. Pens like these you can make with just about anything that, that you really want to. And label casting is a very personalized gift for someone. You had a wedding, you had um, you know, any kind of, of special occasion that you wanted to film and then take a, a, a single image and make it into a pen, that's what you can do. And how you do that is with the casting system here, which is the Everlast casting system. And I'm gonna show you how to do all those things in a few minutes. Label casting is really fun. And how you can do this is, um, let's say you wanna do a picture. We'll, do, we'll, we'll start out in just something really simple as a picture. Um, this happened to be from a coloring book. And um, these were an actual coaster in a bar. And I took that and then um, I brought it into a Word document and sized it down. And we're going to talk about that now, how you do that. So let's say you want to take a picture. Um, what I do is I start it out in Word, in a Word processing. And um, what I'll do is I'll print it on a regular piece of paper first, like this. And what I did is I sized this to where I thought it would wrap around a pen tube. And how do you know it's going to wrap around the pen tube? Well, what I did initially was I took, just, took, just took a piece of paper like this and I merely just wrapped it around it to see you know, where it would lie within the picture itself. Okay. Once it got the size down properly, then I would do um, an Avery Labels. They have um, 10 labels to a sheet like this. Okay, these are waterproof labels, all right? And you can get these online, all right? And what I did was I took the actual picture, bring it, brought it into a Word document, and then from that point, I printed it on the waterproof labels. Now, if you don't have waterproof labels and you wanna use regular paper like this, you wanna print it with a, um, an inkjet printer. You don't wanna use a laser jet. When you use a polyester resin, and that's what we're gonna use with um, the casting kit, when you use the polyester resin, the resin will attack any kind of um, a laser uh, printed picture. It'll make the actual ink float off because the laser um, works on electrostatically bonding the ink to the paper where an inkjet actually infiltrates the paper with the ink. So please use an inkjet is the first thing. So, once I do that, I print it on a regular piece of paper and see if it works um, lengthwise and widthwise around here. And if it doesn't, I size it down accordingly in Word. Once it does that, like I said, I can print it on these waterproof labels. Now I use the waterproof labels because I can just take the tube like this, all right, and just wrap it right around and overlap it a little bit. If you use regular paper and you print it, what you're gonna to have to do is you're gonna to have to paint this tube white, all right? Otherwise, if you just glue this on and you put it in your mold, the acrylic is gonna soak into the paper and you're gonna pick up the background of the, or the color of the tube and it's gonna look bad. So if you do use regular paper, all right? Just regular you know, paper, paint the tube white and then you wanna glue it on. So you're gonna say, how do you glue it on? Well, the easiest way to do it is to use like a Elmer's glue, like a white glue like this. This is Mod Podge. This you can get in any um, craft store, okay? And you would just glue the tube, you would just glue this on. So what, uh, just for you know, argument's sake here, I'm just gonna wrap this around. I'll cut this and show you just really just, you know, how easy it is to glue this stuff on, okay? This is going back to the old arts and crafts days in, in school. So I'm gonna take a little bit of glue like this, put it on here, smear it around real good. And don't worry about um, overlap because um, I overlap it a little bit because when you overlap it, you're gonna um, wrap the tube, or I'm sorry, have the, um, your clip go right over top of this. So I'm gonna wrap this really tight as I can and then press this down and then I can seal the edge with a little bit of this 
and you, in fact, you can seal the entire thing. What I'll do too is I'll take it and I'll roll it to make sure it gets nice and tight on there. Okay. Now, don't worry about the tops on this um, because what you want to do is you want to cut this flush to the, uh, to the tube. You don't want it sticking up too much because when you push your, your plugs in it, if you have that gap there, what's going to happen is you're going to get air in there. So what I'll do is just take this and just cut it right at the, at the top of the tube itself, just like that, and then wrap my fingers around it to seal it a little bit more. Okay. Then when you push this in, it doesn't push this up and allow air to get trapped in there. So that's if you're using regular paper. Okay. And again, you can use any picture you want. You can do anything you want with that. I personally like the waterproof labels because there's a lot less work to do on this. Okay. So now here's your waterproof labels. I printed them out with my laser jet printer. I'm going to take this and just trim this. Cut that piece, cut the top, and I'm not worrying about if the top is a little over. The sides, the same thing. I'm going to cut right down where I need it to be, like that. And then this edge, if it's a little off, again, it won't really make a difference because you're going to overlap it. Just make sure you get rid of all the white on there. So now, I want to put this on my tube. So I'm going to take this, I'm going to lay it on here, like this, and I want to get it straight on here. That's the key, to th and then I'll press this. As I'm pressing it, I'm getting all the air out of it. I'm going to go right around and get it nice and tight. And again, if you wanted to, lay it down and roll on it, okay, get all the air out of it. Now you see the top is really sticking up, so again, I'm going to come over here with my little scissors, and I just want to lay this perfectly flat against the tube, just like that. Okay, and now I'm going to do it to the other side. Take this, just clear, clip this off. Okay, and then I'll take my fingers and I want to roll the edges and get them nice and tight. So here's your first piece that's um, put a label on it, okay? Now I'm going to take my, the, the, the set comes with um, fat plugs and th little thinner plugs. I'm going to take the thinner plug and I want the um, seam facing up, okay? And I'm going to show you why and I just want to make sure I get that nice and tight. Put this on there and then I'll take another plug, put it on here like this. And here's your mold. I'm going to take some of the uh, mold release. And this is a waxy mold release. So I'm going to put a little on here. Just smear it on both of them in the middle because that's where I want it to be. Let this dry. This takes about you know, a couple minutes to dry. No big deal. All right, so this one's ready to go in. So I'm going to leave it here. Okay, and let's do another one. Let's do a, I have one here. This is kind of my, one of my favorites. This is a Piranha Pale Ale. Okay, and so I'll take this and do the same thing. So I'm going to roll the edges, get the edges nice and tight. My seam is right here, so I'm going to make sure that I put them in this way. This is dry now, so I'm going to take these and I'm going to press them right down inside, just like that, right in the center, because we can use those plugs to get it out later, if you choose. Do the same thing to this side, push them in, get them nice and tight. And now I'm going to mix up my, um, my resin. These chambers, okay, hold 75 grams from beginning to end. However, you know, you're not, you're using half of this. So um, I wouldn't even, you know, I'd, I'd probably go uh, three quarters of an ounce for each chamber. 
okay, for, for this with these Gatsby's. Now I'm going to take my resin and again, roughly three quarters of an ounce for each one. So I'm going to go an ounce and a half. I'll pour in an ounce and a half on this. There we go on this side. Okay, I got a little bit more than an ounce and a half. No biggie. All right. Get this out of the way. Your hardener, okay, we're going to use six drops per ounce. So we've got, we've got two ounces in there. So I'm going to use 12 drops. 10, 11, 12. And then I'm going to stir this. Now, you'll see this, you want to get this mixed thoroughly. And you're going to see this, it's going to turn slight green as I stir this. Now I'm going to stir this and um, to get it thoroughly mixed, you have a working time of about 15 to 20 minutes on this. So I'll let this sit for about 10 minutes or so, and you actually see all the bubbles rise to the top. Once that's done, okay, now I can take this and I can just very carefully and slowly pour this in, and I pour it right over top of the tubes themselves. And I just slowly pour it into one, and then I'll do the same with the other side. And again, we mixed up enough to do both chambers. There's that one. Go back and fill this in a little bit more. All right, so these are, are filled up. And then what I do with the cup, because you can reuse this over and over again, is I'll set it off to the side, but I'll put it up on a little bit of an angle like this, remove the stick, and get rid of the stick. And um, when this dries, all I do is I'll just twist it and snap it and it'll come right out and you can use it again. Now, if you're concerned about bubbles, I'll take a really expensive tool like this, like a paper clip, fold it up like that, and I'll just take this and run this on the bottom side of that. And to make sure if there's any air bubbles stuck to anything, they come to the surface and you're okay. And again, this takes, you've got roughly about 20 minutes working time with this. So I'll do this and then go somewhere and then come back and then check it out a little bit later, you know, to make sure it's okay. So now I'm going to let this dry. It takes about 24 hours to really get it dry thoroughly. And um, then we can demold it and then turn it and finish it and make it into a pen. Once the uh, a polyester acrylic has cured overnight, um, it's ready to be taken out of the mold. What I'm going to do is just turn this over and tap, tap the back just like that. And then I can put this down and then they should pop right out just like this. Okay. And then they just popped up just like that. So here's the two that we did yesterday. Now what I want to do before I turn this is I want to square the edges up on this. So I have a little disc sander here that I'm going to use. And so this one is squared up on this side. This one is squared up on this side. So these are ready to be turned now. So now I'm going to take this and we're going to polish it real fast. I'm 
look at that blank. That is so sweet. This is taken from a comic book, like we just said before, and um, we'll make this into a pen and we'll show you all the finished pieces in a little bit. Now we have um, got everything together. We um, finished these, polished them, assembled them, and so here's your finished piece of the, of the kittens, all right? And then here's your finished piece of the uh, piranha. And that's how simple and easy this is to use with the Everlast system. Um, I, you can just about do anything you want um, that's not trademarked or copyrighted um, and make it into something that you know, is really unique to you and um, that means something. And what else can you do with the Everlast system? Well, there's a ton of different things you can do. You can color the resin, okay? And what I did here is I colored the resin and then I added um, little, little slices of credit cards, okay? I shredded credit cards and put that in there. Um, you can use maps. Uh, one of my students used a map. They cut this out, glued it on, just like I showed you how to glue it on with the Mod Podge glue, all right? And cigar labels. Here's, here's, you know, these are different ideas you can use. And these things you can buy at AC Moore, Michaels, Hobby Lobby, any of the, the craft stores. This is little um, paper money, okay, that you can glue on there. Um, here's another one with somebody wanted to a doctor shot. So when I teach my classes, um, I buy these things and bring them in and they make, um, you know, a pen for a doctor. Here's, these are um, abalone shell slices. Okay, little, little pieces of abalone shell that you can glue on there individually. Um, here's some, these are really cute when they make them. They're these are little puffy fish that you can glue on onto the tube. So all these things you can do besides label castings, there are many, many other things you can do. Your imagination is gonna be, your, be the end, you know, the, your, your piece that limits you, okay? So if you have a good imagination, you can make just about anything go on a tube and cast it. So enjoy this, um, you know, go get yourself an Everlast system and uh, make some pen blanks of your own.